They say the older we get, the fewer places we can sleep. No more futons or passing out on the floor, and if you do, you'll pay with back pain for weeks. I went to go visit a friend and um, who doesn't have children, and we, uh, because we like to talk and we stay longer than we need to, um, Tegan was exhausted, and I'm like, oh, don't put her on the bed because I'm scared she might, so we stuck her in a laundry basket. I remember Seth falling asleep in a bumbo seat, sitting up, but like his head was like this and he just fell asleep. I don't remember. That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> we had a babysitter uh, that would come and watch him, great family friend, but Elijah just, for whatever reason, didn't trust him for the longest time. So he kept his distance and we used to have a beanbag chair and it was tucked away in a corner. <laughs> and so he eventually had built himself a basically a little fort in the back corner with some pillows and toys and he had fallen asleep standing up because he wanted to keep an eye <laughs> on the babies. <laughs> so I, I would say the craziest place that our baby has slept is we travel a lot and we were in Las Vegas and we were on the strip and it was loud and crazy and yeah. lots of noise and we were pushing him in his stroller on the way to the hotel and uh, he was out like a rock with everything going on and we thought that was pretty crazy with all the lights and the Music sound. And and he was happy where he was and that was a surprising place for him to be asleep. Yeah. But even babies have specific sleep location needs that can both improve sleep quality and safety. Do you know the pros, cons, and safety guidelines behind the various child sleep locations? Infants can sleep in a crib right away, but some parents may start off with a bassinet, which can be very useful in a small home or to keep your little one close by without the need for bed sharing. Babies often transition to the crib around three to six months, depending on how fast they outgrow their bassinet. Consider transitioning to a crib before you move away from nighttime feedings, since going through multiple big changes at a single time can be stressful for your child and could cause sleep regressions. Of course, there will be many safety precautions that you're going to want to keep in mind once you start using the crib. We'll go over those more in detail later in this module. The crib will likely be your child's bed for several years. The typical age for transitioning from a crib to a toddler bed is around three to four years old. Some children may need to move to a toddler bed sooner, depending on their size, ability to climb out of the crib, or growing understanding of bedtime rules. We know that's a lot of information, and safety can be a big stressor for parents. We'll have even more safety tips for how to deal with crawlers and climbers in the next section of this module. So, why not take a few minutes to journal or share with the group? Discussion and reflection. What are your top considerations for choosing a sleeping location? Think work schedules, limited space, feeding methods, safety, etc. I hope this video brings you one step closer to a good night's sleep. Remember to like, subscribe, and share our channel so all parents can have access to the free baby sleep training course.